Smoldering myeloma is a condition that has been detected in up to 10% of people with MGAS. This data came out of the iStop trial, which practically means in the UK where I practice, there's probably between 150,000 to 200,000 people living with smoldering myeloma. Therefore, a case for early intervention has to be carefully made in this setting. What we are observing is that there is a group of patients with high-risk smoldering myeloma who do convert to active myeloma within a couple of years. This staging system has been refined by the International Myeloma Working Group. There are trials starting up looking at intervention of treatment combinations and comparing versus either observation or with alternative treatments. But critically, to convince the whole clinical community, a trial has to show an overall survival advantage. In addition to that, it has to show in patients with small ring myeloma who have no symptoms or limited symptoms that the toxicity profile is acceptable for these patients. So we're expecting this type of data to come through over the next few years, but we don't have this data today to change clinical practice.